While frugal living sort of comes with minimalism by proxy, it's still something that I think anyone can benefit from, minimalist or not. Indefinitely, no matter one's income. I've been reevaluating my spending a lot as of lately, and they've led me to make a list of reoccurring questions that I ask myself before a purchase. And I thought some of these can maybe help someone who's out there trying to spend less. But first, if you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Here we talk about minimalism and things of that nature. So if that sounds good to you and you end up liking the video, be sure to like and consider subscribing. Let's get started. And I'll apologize in advance for my voice. I'm feeling a little bit under the weather. Money is a very touchy subject to discuss, especially when I'm by no means a financial expert. But while I'm not an expert, I can share my opinions and habits, hoping that at least one person out there can gain value out of it. And the first question I ask is, will it get used? And I feel like this is a very obvious but overlooked question. So many times I've purchased something out of excitement or spontaneity, without even taking a second to consider if it's something that I would even actually use. If I'd started asking myself this question sooner, I'd end up with a lot less things that I didn't really want and maybe a little bit more money in my wallet. Will whatever I'm buying get used or am I just using it now because I already own it? Whether it's buying an article of clothing I don't see myself wearing often or a piece of camera gear that's only really needed for a very specific scenario, Asking myself these questions have helped guide my decisions a little bit better. Is there a more affordable option? And I'm aware this directly contradicts my saying of less but better, but hear me out. Some of these alternatives include buying store brands or buying things used if it makes sense. And a great example is the lens that I'm shooting this video on. Amazon was offering this lens in great condition, used for about $100 under retail. When it comes to electronics, I tend to always go for the new items, but when it's something expensive, electronic or not, I'll always shop around used first. Buying the alternative doesn't mean sacrificing quality, sometimes it's just sacrificing convenience. And I'm sorry to always bring this up, but here's another example from my Iceland trip. I opted to use this backpacking backpack that I had laying around for years instead of buying one solely for this trip. I know I don't go on these trips very often, so I didn't really think it was warranted for me to go out and spend a couple hundred dollars on a new one. And the next question is, does it replace something that I already own? And I think this is a great way to keep clutter limited. I've talked before about the one in, one out rule. The rule that when I bring something new into my life, I try to make sure that it's replacing something similar that I already have. I personally don't like to have a lot of decisions that I have to make, especially when they're small and unimportant. And this is a great way to catch myself buying things just for the quick thrill of buying it, rather than actually considering if it's something that I need. The next question is, can I pay for this right now? And this doesn't mean can I put it on my credit card right now. It means do I actually own the cash to pay for this right now? This is obviously a great question because it keeps me from spending money that I don't have, but it also keeps me from having to remember to pay something off later, keeping my mental clutter at a minimum. I used to have a very backwards way of thinking that I can afford something. For me, it used to mean, can I pay this off over time? And theoretically, yes, because almost anyone can pay off anything over a long enough period of time. Now, for me, it means can I pay this off right now with money that I actually possess? This is a great way to keep the clutter controlled and an even better way to stay out of debt. Do I see the end of this item's lifespan? The thing that dictates most of my actions is intention. I want this to reflect on my spending just as much as my actions. If I can see the end of my ownership of something, it almost defeats the purpose of purchasing it in the first place. I spend to cater my needs and passions, nothing else. A terrible habit that I've developed is every time I'm about to declutter something, I think about the money that I spent on it and just wish I had that instead. And it sort of brings a sense of guilt. But I'm just trying to see these moments as opportunities to make better decisions in the future. A great example is all these. I like them now though. 
The next question is, is this for me or is this to impress somebody? And I'm pretty sure we've all been in a position where we've made a purchase just to keep up with some people or impress a group of people. And I think by now most of us should know that most people are only really concerned with what they have and what they're doing. I don't want to go out of my way and spend my money to buy items to keep up with the Joneses or just keep up with my peers. As long as what I'm buying suits my needs, it shouldn't matter how it looks to anyone else. I hated the cycle of buying one occasion clothes, so I broke that quickly. Ask this question the next time you're about to purchase something, and you might find that you don't like this item as much as you think you do. The next question is, is this a phase? Before I've mentioned how minimalism pretty much eliminated me going through phases in general. Over time, it seems like whatever interests I had, hobbies I picked up, clothes I wore, I always seem to revert back to the same things. Thankfully, I know myself well enough now to be aware of this and catch myself. That's all I really had for that point. I know that's super short, but I wanted to have that in there. And the last question is, what's my bigger goal? And for me, this is the ultimate question when evaluating my finances. What am I saving for and what's the bigger goal here? Just because I have more money saved or made a little bit more money this week doesn't necessarily mean I need to go out and spend it. Giving myself a bigger long-term goal has kept small repeat spending at bay. When I started realizing that I want to reach my long-term goal rather than go out and spend daily, it's expedited my progress toward that goal. I want to take this opportunity to repeat that I am not by any means a financial expert and everyone should manage their money how they see fit and at their own free will. I think we're in a time that no matter how much one makes, it seems that we can all be in just a little bit more of a comfortable position. And I hope that some of these things that I do inspire at least one person out there to start asking these questions before a purchase. As always, I appreciate the time you spent here watching and I hope you got some value out of these. If you did enjoy this video and you do enjoy this type of content, be sure to like and consider subscribing to my channel and I'll see you next time.